I'm, I'm involved with quite a few voluntary community groups and so I knew um, the lady that was running the Green Bills and she told me about it and I thought that our projects would be absolutely ideal for, for the, the money that you're um, making available. We have two prob had two problems, one of them was our community garden, we needed to be able to water it easily ourselves and in a way that conserves water as far as possible and up to now we haven't been able to do that. And the other problem we had was that our nature trail boards, which we fundraised for, beautiful wooden boards, they have been vandalised recently and so we had to try and think of a different way to have them designed so that they would be much more vandal proof and so you can pay for us to do that as well. Community Arts and Music Project um, is a small charity set up to offer free performing arts workshops for music, dance and drama for children aged 5 to 16 years old of all abilities uh, throughout Bournemouth. We've been very, very fortunate and thank you um, that they've just funded us two uh, 6 foot by 4 to 4 foot portable dance mirrors and it's just going to be amazing and the volunteers are so excited, let alone the children. Most of the children um, that come either have maybe some behavioural issues or learning disabilities. So it just means everything to them. Just the smallest uh, thing can mean so much. Community um, Sports Trust is, is a, an arm of the football club. Um, it is uh, a community programme that enables us to go out and engage with uh, schools and many different organisations. A major part of our work is about sports participation. Uh, as you can see behind us, uh, the children playing football, being active, uh, promoting healthy lifestyles. That's, what, that's the message that we're trying to send out as the Community Sports Trust. The Green Goals project is, is a big project for us and one we're really, really infused about delivering. Um, it's about sports participation, getting the youngsters playing, but it's also an environmental message as well. The project will be uh, three separate days. We'll have 30 uh, children on each day, so we're hoping to attract 90 different children onto the project. So as a football club, it allows us to send out a real positive message to, to, to 90 young people in, in and around the Boscombe area.